Sorry about that, YouTube. My good buddy, next door neighbor Rich, came over and interrupted my video recording. So I got. Welcome back to another fun field episode of Easy E's Rebuilds. Well, today I will be still working on the 99 Dodge Frank. After a little test drive to Michigan City, Indiana, had a little vibration in the front of the car from the wheel bearings. So in this video, I'll be replacing the wheel bearings on the two-wheel drive, which is wheel-wheel drive, Dodge Ram, the front, even though my good neighbor Rich just came over here and had me take one apart so he can see it. I don't even think it need new wheel bearings. It's just the screw back off, which is making the tire wobble. But since it's making all that noise, I'm gonna change them anyway. And plus I have to change the front shocks too. So if you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video on your social media. And I do have merch. There's a link in the description below. And I will be showing y'all everything I'll be using, almost everything I'll be using, to repair this truck. And uh, that should be it for the 99 Dodge Ram. Hopefully this is the last video. So I have to hit the rear shocks, rear diff, speed sensor, transmission output sensor, dash cover, speakers, radio, instrument cluster bezel, side view mirror, hood, headlights, fog lights, painted the front bumper, did the oil pan gaskets, the valve cover gaskets, transmission filter, brand new transmission pan gasket, and then all through this truck to make sure it's worthy enough to make it back and forth a six hour round trip to pick up these cars I'm beginning from Copart or IA and I just and you know I forgot to put and it has a class 5 and I did the class 5 hitch and wiring so with all that let's show y'all what I'm working with what you will need for this job so here we go there's my Moreau front shocks. There's my race driver set. My Master Pro grease, wheel bearing grease. My inner and outer wheel bearings. And out this set, you will need the 3 8 to remove the caliber. And for the shocks, you need an 18 millimeter for the top bolt and a 22 millimeter for the side. And I got them on breaker bars. Already sprayed it down with a little bit of PB blaster. So, like I was saying, my good neighbor was already over here telling me and showing me how to repair this so I got pretty much everything apart still gotta get the front shocks off on this side then we gotta do the other side so let me get back started so let's get started I'm gonna hit these right back here with your 3 8 Allen, like so. Which I already did. Make sure I go get a, get a bungee cord so I can that <laughs> I'm grab a 
bungee cords. Like, yo, put on some. Dang, bungee cord being away. Well, I'm getting bungee cord. Bungee cord. Hanging from somewhere, but yeah. Let me remove this. It's all one piece. Look at my bearing. So welcome back, guys and gals. I got the inner and outer races out, outer inner and outer bearings out. Now I got to repack the bearings and get the inner races back in. I can get these races put back in. These are my race tool. One fits better. Use this one. Get my little hammer. I'm going crooked. Give me a bigger hand. So I got it started. Get it all the way in. Okay, it's already all the way in. Let me pack my bearing. This is a messy ass job. Excuse my French. Get those bearings nice and packed.
Drop that in. Okay. Always make a mess, people. I always make a mess. I'm just messy. Ugh. Should've packed my other one while I was at it. But let me get this cleaned up. Put my brace back in there. Make sure you get your seal back in. What? Nothing. I'm talking to the camera. I'm talking to YouTube. It doesn't take a, a um an hour. Just a just a one. Okay, okay. These motherfuckers went home, didn't they? Yep. You want to flip it over and repeat the process. I don't want you to do no ropes, okay? So I can tell you. I got five fucking companies, not one of them came out. Not one. Maybe they're gonna wait. Let's get this all greased up. Let me get some more gloves on. I'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry about that, YouTube. My good buddy next door neighbor Rich came over and interrupted my video recording. So I got both inner and outer bearings put in both inner and outer bearings in the race pulled out everything greased up now we just gotta put it back on the car then i gotta pull the shocks off the passenger side then on to the driver's side so let me throw this back on the car back guys and gals i did go on to the passenger side to break the nuts loose for the shocks, couldn't get them. They're, uh, they've been on this truck for 20 years. It's a 20 year old truck, all original. So I ran into a little problem, but my good buddy Rich came over and gave me a hand. He, bring, he brought me over some, some map gas to heat everything up after the nut broke which is somewhere around here. Broke my breaker bar. And as y'all can see, here's the head of the bolt. And there's the rest of the bolt with the nut still on it. 20 years of rust. Snap right on off in there. Had to use a air chisel to get it out with some heat and some PB blaster. But let me show y'all this front shot. There's the shot. It's all mangled, original. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even work no more so let's get everything put back together had to go to Menards pick up some nuts and bolts and we get all this situated and back together again so here we are let's get all this slapped back together because it's mighty cold out here and I'll do the other side tomorrow. So let's get the uh, new shock put back on. Let's get the the one piece hub put back on. Get my covers put back on and the tire put back on. So I can end this right here because I've been struggling with this car for a while. 
Not to mention you gotta get the, the races out of the hubs. So sit there and bang on those for an hour, 30 minutes. But let me put this back together because I'm getting cold, nose running. But here's my new shock. The old one has already been removed. And for a reference, here's the old one. Here's the new one. Find the hole, push it up through, push it, get it lined, wiggle it up in there. Get your nut and well, get your there you go. A bolt in there. <sighs> Should have grabbed. Let me grab a hammer. Get it with us away. Part. I forgot to ask you this earlier. Okay, I'm back. And my neighbor Rich keep coming over here, wanting to talk. When you see me try to do my YouTube videos, so I got the the nut bolt and washer on the bottom. About to put the rubber gasket on top. with the impact 21 millimeter on the front 24 on the back There's a bigger nut on the top than the old one. So let me go grab me another socket. New one is a 19. Nice and tight. 
ください Ooh, it's cold out here. Get this back together so I can go in the house. Make sure this bottom is nice and tight. Get my hook back on there. Things be nice and going you want to make this nut too tight to make this too tight. Just go back till it get tight, then come off of it half a turn. Make sure you can get your counter pin back in there. back go up a little bit oh that's nice better than it was put the cap back on drop the cotter pin back in Nice. And put the cap back on. Make sure to clean the cap out. Put the caliber back on.
in the snow again. So, I have this side, completely done. So, like I said, it's back snowing again, it's cold out here, I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Peace! So welcome back, gals and gals. Guys and gals, this is the next day. Y'all know yesterday, my buddy Rich, the troll, the hater, kept coming over here, interrupted me while I'm trying to work on, on the Dodge Ram, the bearings and the shocks replaced in the front. But he also was a big help too, bringing me some map gas. Because like I said, those 20 year old boats, they want to be up and one boat off. So now I'm on to the driver's side. Hopefully I'll be able to show y'all the process of removing the bearings and bearing braces. If I do remove the brakes, I just might just replace the bearings all the day. But what's gonna be a hard part is getting those shots off. So let's get right to it and go through this struggle together. So here we are. I gotta pop that cap off. Take this off with a 3/8 Allen, bolt top and bottom. But the thing is, we gotta get these old 20-year-old shocks off first. I sprayed it with some Ruts penetrator. Now I'm gonna start heating them up. Start with the top one. First, get some map gas and see if I can break it loose. Check it out.
I'll be right back. I'll show you how to, I'm going to do this. So, I'm going to grab a pair of channel locks. I hold that so it won't turn on me. Here we have it. difficult because that's a bigger boat I repeat the process Wish I had something that can hold this can up. some more rust breaker penetrating fluid <clears throat> heat it up some more Break the nut loose and that right break off. And I'll be back. So we're back. When I finally got the strut out, it took me like an hour to get it out. I didn't want to bore y'all with that situation. The situation was. The boat will turn, but it will not come out. So I cut it off, tried drilling it out, and I finally got it short enough to pull out. Like you see, this shock is no good. It's not going back up. 
So let me put the new one in. up there that up there get the bolt started remember it's a 19 millimeter I gotta grab the bolts I got from Menards got some 916 grade eights just in case Use the jack, give me some pressure up there so I can get this nut back on. Bottom one's tight. It's a 21 millimeter for the boat head and the 24 for the nut. go. Number 19 for the top. Sure you hold the shaft. Y'all just watch me spin it.
here we go. Jack out the way. I just remember working on these late model cars can be a pain and you know what but just take your time sit back relax think about it then jump back into it like I said it took me an hour just to get the bottom nut and bolt off now let's check these hub bearings and after that, that'd be the end of this video. So let's get started. I'm gonna tap the cover off. Well, that's a mess. Powder pin out if you can find it. It's in there somewhere. There you go. Don't worry, I got new cotter pins. suspect is look everything is loose he been minimal growth and gloves I have to get that off. Just a little take off that. Washer. I can't even get the freaking washer. Forget it. Just pull it on off. I'll take the washer off. There's your bearing. I'm just gonna change the bearings. The races look good. Because it's a pain in the ass to get these races out. Clean that up. So here we are. I'm gonna pop the bottom bearing out. Okay, bottom bearing is out.
take out the seal, clean it, and I'll be right back. Let me clean this up. So we got the old ones out, which is one right there. I didn't remove the, the races. So let's get these packed. fashion way I don't got a bearing packer so I pack it the old fashioned way in my hand get some grease all up in here put it in there like so Get the other one packed. That one's gonna sit on the top of this box. I gotta pack the inner and the outer bearings. And yes, I like making a mess. Okay, this one is packed. Set that right there. Mm, get these gloves off. Find the seal. Using the old seal. Put it back in there. Let me just use a race seal to put that on top and tap it back in with my hammer as soon as I find my hammer. Right. Tap that back in. And there we go. Now I'm almost ready to put this back on the car. I gotta clean the grease. Old grease off the shaft. Over here. <clears throat> so I'm going to get that clean and we'll put this back together. So now let's get this back together so I can be done with this video. Okay. Got the hook. Back on and put it. Our bearing back in. Put your
pitch of key or your I don't know what you want to call that. It's almost like a key, but it's like a washer too. Your key washer, because it got a little groove. It rides in that groove. Tap, put up your nut back on. Tighten it, all, tighten it all the way down and I came off of it probably a sixteenth of a turn put the cap back on and get a new color pin it around like the old one was and there we go that's how you change your bearing front hub bearings on the 99 Dodge Ram with wheel with rear wheel drive not front wheel drive and let's get the Calibers mounted back up. We use a little brake grease on those because they can't the sliders are dry. <laughs> These down. Oh, oh, there we go. My bad. Don't like I usually do another car slide in one tap. Let me get some um some of this brake grease on these pins and stick them back in. Okay, like I said, you need a 3 8 Allen, which I had sitting right here somewhere. Go. I 
neighbor was but my neighbor was at it again. He seen me outside. He came out here to interrupt. Oh, he's back. He's back. You know what I get? What? Okay. I eat it up with the propane. Laid it flat on my steel workbench. Hit it with the, the, the hammer, flat side. Perfect. Look at that. And where we go? I'll get some made anyway. Oh, you got it finally? Yep. How'd you get it? What, what'd you cut again? Yeah, I cut a little bit. And got it to come out. That's what happens with government jobs. They never go easy. I heard it from Rich. I think you're doing a simple job on a late model car. <coughs> Turn out to be three, four hour job. Yeah, well, sometimes you get lucky. And with that transmission. And there we have it. It's all done. Put the cap back on. Yeah, we need about another 30 degrees out here. We'll be good. I was looking for that guy's phone number that, you know, put that tarp on. I lost his fucking number. So we got everything together. Rich is back over. What else you got? And it's time for me to clean up and say my goodbyes. So that's it for this Easy Ease Rebuilds video. So if you haven't, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't like this video. Hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I release a video. And please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and share this video on your social media. And with all that, if you want to help support this channel, you can go to teespring.com to pick you up some merch. So, with all that being said, this is a hard ass job. So, wrench every day. Stay tuned and stay blessed. Peace. Hold on, hold on, hold on.